Hi. Today I'm going to talk to you about limiting beliefs because it's something that most people have, if not everyone. And as a coach, it's what I'm looking for. What is holding you back? What is limiting you from doing what you really want to do? And as a family coach, I am very aware that this is something you pass on to your children as well. So my message to you today is how to avoid that. Now, when we talk about limiting beliefs, they are often, if not always, caused by what we call inductions. And inductions is just a fancy word for a piece of information, someone's opinion about you that you at some point accepted to be true about you. And because you did that, it became a part of who you are. And you can see the same thing happening to your children. And, and, and of course, this message is to help you avoid it happening so that in 20 years, they won't say, well, I, I'm not the gifted one. I'm not the academic one in my family. So I can't, you know, pursue my dream of becoming a doctor or whatever it is that might be in the future if you don't stop it from happening today. So my question would be, when was the last time you called your name, your, your child a name? Like, um, oh, you're such a messy head or, oh my God, you're such a picky eater or why do you have to be such a clown or you're such a brat or whatever it is. And when was the last time you told yourself, oh my God, I'm chronically late or I can't get anything right or um, I'll never get this uh, project because nobody believes in me or I'm just always so unlucky or I can't trust men or whatever it is. If you're doing this to yourself and to your children, and if you are allowing others to do this to your children, name calling, labeling, then I have a message for you and it's very important. So you might want to write it down. Are you ready? Here it comes. Stop it. Simple. Just stop it because it will limit your child. If they believe they are a messy, um, messy head or a picky eater, then I can guarantee you that it is not in the job description of a messy head to clean up his room. And it's going to cost you a lot of conflict in your house because you're always going to be telling him, imprinting that you are a messy head. Therefore, he's going to believe that, well, in that case, a messy head doesn't clean up. And the same goes with picky eaters. It's not in their job description to try a new thing. It's just not who they are. So you want to use this positively. There's two things. If you have created a monster, a limiting belief in your child, and you now have a picky eater or a messy head, what you need to do is challenge that belief. And I can maybe come back to that in another video, but for sure, you really want to go, really, is that true? Are you a picky eater? Because I can mention like 20 things you like. So I would say you're selective and that's okay. We need to be careful about what we put in our mouth, but no mess, you know, a, a, a picky eater that you are not. But now that you know how this works and how crucial it is that you don't allow negative imprints or negative inductions in your child's belief system so that it can grow to limiting beliefs, then you can use it positively as well. Can you see how this could work in your favor, in your child's favor? Every time you see your child do doing something positive, you want to be there and you want to point it out and you want to make an induction go, oh my God, you're so generous. Oh my God. I noticed that your brother and you solved that problem without me even having to help. You're really capable of solving your own conflicts. That's a very powerful way to um, have a, a belief about yourself, a um, understanding about who I am. I am generous. I am kind. I am capable. I am smart. I'm talented. All of these things, it's just something you believe about yourself too. And if someone is giving you that piece of information and you just say, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, then you're not. But wherever your focus goes, it expands. So be sure that you use your parental uh, superpowers by pointing out what's really good about your child, what is unique about your child and what their strengths are, because that will be such an empowering belief system that they will grow up to use on an everyday basis. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And um, that was it for now. Thank you.